Hi, this is Mark Quarter with Automotive Research and Design. And in this video, we're going to be going through uh, some of the power electronics for the General Motors E-Assist system that came out in 2012 in the Buick LaCrosse. Now, this system is belted. If you take a look at uh, the electric machine here, this is a 15 kilowatt uh, electric machine, which is about 20 horsepower. Uh, this is a belted system, uh, unlike uh, some of the other hybrid systems that you've seen. Uh, this system is also uh, liquid cooled. If you take a look back here, you can see that there's uh, liquid uh, connections here, uh, inlet and outlet. Uh, you can also see here that this is a three phase machine. You can see here's where the uh, connections would be uh, going to the power inverter. If we take this uh, the back off, you can also see back here that um, this uh, machine also uses a resolver for both uh, speed sensing uh, but it, you don't need it for position because this machine happens to be an induction motor, not a uh, permanent magnet machine, which you may be used to uh, working with other hybrids. Most other hybrids are permanent magnet, but this one happens to be induction. Uh, so this has a resolver, and the resolver connector is right here. So this would be where the power inverter would uh, connect into for, again, uh, RPM. Now, the reason that we don't need to worry about position with a induction machine is because the rotor uh, has aluminum rotor bars. This one happens to be a, an aluminum rotor. It has aluminum rotor bars. It does not have magnets on the rotor. So there's no permanent magnets on the rotor. So if I take this extension right here and go to the rotor, you can see that uh, there's no magnetic attraction here between the extension and the rotor. So uh, there's something called mutual induction that's used to, to run this machine to get both uh, propulsion and uh, regenerative braking out of it or, or power generation. So it's very different than the normal permanent magnet machines that you may be used to working with, uh, but we wanted to show it to you today so you could get an idea of some other machines that are out there in some cars. So uh, that's it for this video. Join us again next time and we'll have some more uh, items for you to take a look at. Thank you.